Hi, welcome to my latest video. Tonight I thought I'd do a very quick teaser video showing what I've bought. This is a Haldex coupling. It's a generation four Haldex as fitted to the Freelander 2. This sits on the, the prop shaft up the back near the rear diff and its job is to link the front and rear drive by a variable amount. Why have I bought one of these? Well, my channel is approaching 3,000 subscribers. Thank you very much to all of you who have subscribed. And thank you for all the encouraging, positive feedback that you leave on my videos. Really nice to read the comments. And it really inspires me to make more interesting content for you all to watch. So I thought when we get to 3,000 subscribers, I'll do a video on the Haldex. This is a second-hand worn Haldex unit that I've bought. Bought this from one of the Facebook group members who had recently changed his Haldex for a for a, a newer one or a reconditioned one. This one is pretty old. I've seen better days. The uh, connector there is is a, is a bit damaged. So uh, I won't be fitting this to my car but I will be stripping it down to find out how it works. As well as taking it apart and seeing how it works inside, I'm gonna look into the feasibility of actually having a, a manual override on this. I've never really seen anybody do that with a Freelander 2, although I have heard of it being done with other vehicles that use the Haldex, such as VW Golfs, uh, and some Audis use the Haldex as well. And apparently people have managed to manually lock the center diff or lock the Haldex coupling so that it gives uh, a guaranteed 50-50 power split front and rear and means that there is always at least one front and one rear wheel being driven. I just think that that would be a nice feature to have. I know that the terrain response will let the computer work out what to do with the Haldex and how closely to couple the, the front and rear. Um, that does a very good job, although it would be a really interesting project to see if I could actually install a switch to manually lock the Haldex up. I don't know how I'd do that. Might need some sort of special uh, command to be sent to it to, to get it to lock. I might be able to do it through some other means such as uh, fooling the Haldex into thinking that it's activated its uh, uh, valve inside that sends the fluid to lock the clutch plates. If I can make it um, think that it's driving the, the actual real unit um, but I'm actually controlling that myself with a switch, then uh, might be able to actually make the Haldex lock up manually. So it's, it'll be an interesting project to do. I don't know if it'll be possible, but uh, we shall see. So there we go. That's it for tonight. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you, bye.